Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. Today's video is a question and answer session video of ISRO Technical Assistant for EC, EI and Tripoli branches. That is, I'll be trying to answer some of the questions which I have received as doubts and as comments uh, in uh, below the videos or in the community's tab. Okay, so I'll be uh, trying to answer this question. Okay, uh, I have almost 17 questions in my hand. I'll be trying to answer these questions. And uh, if you also have uh, some doubts regarding these areas or these questions, if you have, uh, it will be get uh, clarified. Okay, the first question is the strategy to enter uh, a problem. That is, uh, for example, uh, a measurement problem. How to enter these problems? How to uh, start answering this problem? That is the question. Uh, see, if you have uh, any problems in that is starting trouble with some uh, problems or numericals, you will only get familiarized with these problems or areas uh, only if you practice more and more questions. That is why I'm saying in all my videos repeatedly that try to solve all the previous year questions available because you will be getting uh, familiar with these the type of questions. And uh, most probably there are high chances that these type of questions, the values may uh, vary, but the type of uh, questions will get repeated. So if you practice more and more previous year questions, you will automatically generate an idea to enter a sum or a enter a numerical. There is no need uh, for someone to teach that how to start doing a problem or a numerical uh, sum. So you will automatically generate or a or you adapt a, adapt a method by yourself okay there is a no need to uh, uh, no need for somebody to teach it anyway i'm uh, trying to do or i'm planning to do a video for uh, some tips to uh, do these numerical uh, sums in a faster way i'll be uploading that very soon anyway okay so that is the answer for that question you will uh, automatically develop a method by yourself if you practice more and more previous year questions because there are high chances that the questions may get repeated okay next question i have 60.8 percentage or 6.58 cgpa will i be get uh, selected okay so that is the question is whether this person will get selected for the written test and uh, again, this thing also I'm saying that there is a pre-screening because of the large number of applicants or applications coming. They'll be uh, not uh, selecting all the first class people because there won't be uh, that much of facility uh, for making all these people to write the return test. So there are high chances that they will increase the cutoff from first class to whatever percentage they want. That only the exam panel can decide. Anyway, the criteria or the eligibility criteria they are specific saying is in your first class as for that this person is eligible okay so uh, what is the cutoff they are selecting uh, or keeping is depending on the number of applications coming okay so that is again depending on the examination panel only if you are getting the admit card then you can assure that you are being called for the written test next question uh, please speak about the application dates of various centers that is uh, for IPRC or HSFC as per now the details available only one application is uh, or one application link is active all the other examination is going to be conducted or that bit cards is yet to be uh, uh, given so there is one uh, specific sender for which you can apply actually the date got extended due to this quarantine period the that is for space application center the date has been extended till May 1st. So if uh, there is anybody to apply for this post, please do apply for it. I have done a detailed recruitment video on this space application center. I will be sharing that link in my description. So there will be many people who have uh, not applied for this space application center technical assistant post. There is vacancies for uh, EI. Uh, there is vacancies for electronics and triply. So I will be sharing that link in description box. So if you want to apply for a scientist, and also for technical assistant, both vacancies are there. Okay, so please do apply for it. Next question. So uh, as per the uh, data uh, available now, only one, uh, that is one recruitment is active. That is space application center. Next question. Uh, SAC Ahmedabad technical assistant cutoff. Okay, again, uh, this person is asking uh, about the cutoff of space application center. So the cutoff for uh, SAC is again depending on various factors. I've done a detailed video on cutoff analysis also. So it depends on the number of persons who are writing the examination and based on the standard of the question 
so all these things are depending um, mainly on the standard of question. If the question is easy, the cutoff will be high. So that is the simple logic. Anyway, as per the normal standards or as per the previous year scenarios, the uh, cutoff is anyway greater than 85 percentage as per the previous year scenarios. Okay, or 85 percentage to 90 percentage can be the cutoff because sometimes the question papers are very easy, so there will be high cutoff. So please expect a cutoff above 85 percentage if you are preparing for technical assistance. So make your preparations as uh, good as that much. Okay, next question. Give some plans and some websites to prepare. Okay, again, I have done a detailed video on this. There is some plans to prepare, especially for this lockdown period. And also I have suggested some sites, uh, 10 sites I have suggested for uh, doing the mock examination. You will find online test and also question and answers. That is MCQ type question and answers, numerical sums also, especially for different area wise on electronics. So again, I'll uh, share that link of that video in the description. Okay, if you want to see, you can see. Next question. Please provide the PDF link of question papers. I'm receiving a lot of uh, comments like, please give the links of previous year question papers link. I've uh, done this in a lot of previous year. Uh, that is, I've done, that is sharing this link in a lot of previous videos. Anyway, I'll share the link in this uh, video's description box also. That is, uh, if you want to practice previous year question papers, uh, there are a lot of previous year question papers available. Specifically, if you want to type and see the technical assistant examination 2017 question paper, it will be sometimes available. Please check for that. Okay. Anyway, I'll share some links. Next question. Can you please tell me which subjects carry more mark? Okay. We have done two detailed videos. One for topic wise and also... Uh, syllabus detail ISR technical assistance syllabus we have done a separate video and also I have uh, uh, in a separate other video I have uh, shared the important topics and type of questions and areas which we need to mo concentrate more uh, so I'll be sharing that link again in the description box okay next question is regarding the skill test a lot of questions keep on uh, coming regarding the skill test skill test do we have to remember the circuits or will they provide it okay so this is a uh, uh, and again a decision of examination panel but we know that uh, this is a higher examination for the public sector so there are uh, less chances very less chances that they will provide the circuit for skill test because if somebody is providing you the skill test then only thing is uh, you need to connect the circuit that is a very simple thing as uh, for an examination right so I don't think that they'll be providing the circuits. They'll be only giving some ideas or some questions. You have to uh, draw the circuits by your own. Then you have to connect. I think the examination is going to be conducted in that way. I don't think that the uh, they will be providing the circuits. But if the examination panel is deciding to provide the circuit, means they'll be providing. And again, this thing depends on the various exam uh, centers. There are various locations. Based on the examination panels of those locations, it varies. But I don't think there is much probability. Next question, expected date for HSFC or URSC? Okay, that is expected date for HSFC technical assistant examination because of this lockdown period or quarantine period. Most probably the examination will be conducted on or after June month. There is two months gap. So please fasten your preparations. Okay, so that is expected date. Next question, I have applied for HSFC. Can I prepare for, that is, can I do IPRC question paper? Yes, I'm telling in uh, a lot of videos, I have told that if you uh, are preparing for HSFC and you are doing practice, that is you are practicing the questions of IPRC, there is no much problem because all the exam, uh, that is all the locations of ISRO keep almost same difficulty level with their questions or in the question paper. Some uh, specific locations, especially BSSC or LPSC, has uh, raised their standards a little bit higher. That is, if you see, if you compare the question papers, BSSC question papers are the toughest one, which I feel like. And also the LPSC uh, question papers are a little bit tougher as compared to the other locations. So my advice is that if you're preparing for any location, try to practice BSSC question papers more because anyway, it will improve your quality. And if you're preparing uh, for any other locations also, anyway, uh, all the uh, locations almost difficulty level is same so there is no problem in that next uh, next question is regarding the exam locations okay i'm going to uh, tell the exam locations 
as per the previous year uh, examinations conducted hsfc examination uh, in the notification also they have uh, given that the examination is going to be conducted in bangalore then for vssc it is in trivandrum for lpsc also it is in trivandrum sgsc examinations is uh, going to be conducted in chennai iprc is in nagar bobel and sac that is space application center exam locations uh, are uh, generally in ahmedabad this uh, can vary or cannot vary and it will be given in notification sometime otherwise if you are receiving that bit card uh, or uh, while applying you can select okay so uh, these are the examination uh, centers as per the previous year data next question it is a very important question uh, talk about the uh, general aptitude and general awareness questions some locations of uh, isro they ask questions from general aptitude and uh, general awareness but uh, there are chances that they they may not ask okay some question papers may have some question papers may not have anyway uh, all the locations are giving maximum importance to your technical or core subject rather than asking aptitude or english or general awareness or general science questions okay so anyway if even if there is questions the number of questions will be very less or less than 10 okay i've seen a lot of question papers without even a single aptitude question so please don't give more importance to the general aptitude and uh, reasoning give more importance to your subject next question is technical uh, is technician syllabus same as technical assistant uh, actually the technic technician syllabus is simpler as compared to the technical assistant okay so if you are preparing for technician and if you are doing technical assistant question papers means it is more than enough okay next question uh, is interview conducted in english or hindi again it is depending on the examination panel you cannot predict uh, about the interview sometimes interview uh, may not be there again it is, uh, all these things are depending on the examination panel if you have a very uh, good written test cut off marks or if you have scored very good in that written test the interview will be very easy uh, it is in uh, english or hindi uh depending on the examination panel most probably will be in english only next question uh the skill test syllabus i've done a detailed video on the syllabus of skill test i'll share be uh, i'll be sharing that in the description box okay next question again it is uh, from the skill test area skill test previous year questions ratio of people uh, who qualify the skill test okay so uh, uh that is from the written test uh examination they'll be selecting people uh, with a ratio that is if we, if they require uh, one person they'll be calling 20% that is 1 is to 20 ratio or 1 is to 50 ratio sometimes they'll be keeping and from this people they'll be uh, selecting only that is if there is 20 people they'll be selecting only 10 persons to the final list or five anyway they'll be uh, calling uh, that is from 10 persons they'll be calling only five persons to the final list or from 10 persons they'll be calling two persons to the final list final list they'll be keeping a precise number so the numbers uh, the ratio will be accordingly okay next question is how to do sums without calculator okay so uh, there are some uh, difficult sums uh, while solving the fourth power or uh, any uh, from any subject there are numerical questions right so how to do these uh, numerical questions without calculator so if you want to find some logarithms or uh, anything they'll be uh, providing that in the bracket which you uh, that is for sums which you require calculator the required uh, sum or the expression will be given in the bracket or uh, actually they won't be allowing you to uh, use calculator anyway the sums will be in that way or you have to do approximation method that is uh, if you want to multiply uh, 423 you have to take 420 likewise you have to approximate and do the, the sums anyway calculator is generally not allowed in these examinations okay so these are some questions which i have received over the comments and in the community tab uh, so anyway i try to answer this uh, as much as uh, i could do from my knowledge okay uh, so i really hope that this video is useful for your preparation if yes please do give it a thumbs up and share this video with maximum of friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching